no-code database? Yes, you heard right. If you are looking for a no-code database, then you are in the right place. Which one, however, do you actually choose with so many options? Well, today we're going to have a look at no-code DB. We're also going to have a look at base row. We're going to have a look at Airtable. And we're going to have a look at Superbase. We want to know which one you should be using for your particular situation, your scenario. So without further ado, let's climb straight in. Let's have a look at no-code DB. So some of their key features is their spreadsheet interface. You can transform relational databases into intuitive spreadsheets. You can perform CRUD operations with um, familiar grid layouts. You can manage user roles, permissions, version control, as well as the comments. You can work together seamlessly in a team all in real time. You can connect to MySQL, any SQL server, and so much more. You can allow your self to leverage existing database infrastructure at ease. The next thing which is fantastic is uh, their use cases. So let's have a look at some of the use cases. You can give existing SQL databases a fresh interface. You can transform complex data into accessible formats. You can connect marketing, finance, HR, as well as project teams. You can share data across organizational boundaries. It also presents um, complex relationships in a, a more visual representation. It helps non-technical users understand data structure in an easier way. You can connect and sync data with external applications as well, enabling problematic data access. Um, you also get to share information between applications, which creates unified workflows across all of your systems and unify multiple database resources. You can build comprehensive enterprise solutions with this. The last thing over here was the no code database. Of course, it builds databases without programming knowledge. You can use intuitive spreadsheet styled interfaces, which is a lot easier to use for the average person. You can work together with your teammates simultaneously. You can see changes as they actually happen. You can manage also who can view or edit your data. You can implement your role based permissions, which is great. And it streamlines repetitive tasks and creates triggers for common actions, which can save you time and ultimately a whole lot of effort. Basero also excels in organizing um, product catalogs, CRM systems, and inventory management. It's ideal for education, NGOs, and businesses needing affordable database solutions. You can see over here, it has in um, a plugin architecture, so it extends functionality with custom plugins. You can connect with Zapier, N8N, and webhooks, and you can interact with external apps and services with its API access. Let's have a look at Airtable now. So Airtable allows you to switch between the calendar, the Kanban gallery, and timeline views easily. You can visualize data in a more useful format and it's better for you, for you. You can start quickly with templates for project management, content calendars, and even CRM systems, and you can create custom workflows as well as automated processes. This reduces manual work with smart triggers. Companies like Netflix use Airtable to track content creation workflows. They manage their assets from concept to publication which is awesome. You can plan, execute, and measure marketing initiatives. You can coordinate team members and track campaign performance. This helps you organize your feature requests, your bug tracking, development sprints, and keeps um, product teams aligned on priority. It also centralizes information for distributed teams, which enables collaboration across time zones, locations, whatever else is dividing. Airtable also offers communication tools, so you can actually integrate it with Slack, Microsoft Teams, or even a built-in email service. You can utilize their REST API and script for custom solutions. You can connect with Google Space, Office 365, and even Notion, and you can sync your um, 
Airtable account with Salesforce, Jira and other enterprise tools. All right, let's have a look at Superbase now. So Superbase is a powerful relational database with real time capabilities. You can subscribe to data changes as they happen. It implements secure user authentication easily, which supports multiple authentication providers and custom flows. You can actually store and serve files efficiently. You can manage user generated content securely, which is great. And you can manage all your databases through an intuitive interface, uh, which allows you to write and execute XQL queries directly. Superbase also has a bunch of very particular use cases and some integrations. So Superbase connects seamlessly with React, Vue, Flutter, and modern JavaScript frameworks. Developers can actually build front ends with familiar tools. It has API support, so it includes both REST and GAF QL options. This flexibility enables diverse integration approaches. And some of their popular applications. So rapid MVP developments for startups, scalable uh, SaaS product uh, backends, real-time analytics dashboards, and IoT device data tracking systems, as well as mobile app backend infrastructure. The last thing that we're looking at over here is some of their advanced features. So this goes beyond their basic features. First of all, you can deploy serverless functions globally. You can run code closer to users for faster response times. You can implement granular access controls, which protects sensitive data with custom policies. You can store and query embeddings for AI applications, which enables somatic search capabilities, and you can trigger external systems when data makes changes. So you can create event driven architectures seamlessly. So there we go with so many options available, it's often difficult to make a decision and um, stick to the decision. My advice always is to try all of your options, even if it is for a short amount of time, just to see what actually works for you with a more hands on approach and then make a decision thereafter. Just remember that we're all individuals and we all have individual needs. If this was really helpful, drop us a like and we'll see you next time.